Nation. Yo, what's good, family? Dreadhead Nation, united we stand, divided we fall. Always shout out and acknowledge your fellow Dreadhead on the street. Lock Nation, growing strong. I appreciate you guys stopping by here. Today we are talking about neglected dreads once again. And this time we're talking about those poor animals with the neglected dreads on them. Now, I've done videos like this before where we've seen cats and dogs with neglected matted hair and I kind of find it fascinating to see how much even animals hair can lock up when left alone and it just further, it further acknowledges to me that the more you leave your hair to be, the more it will lock up. Regardless of this situation, these are like actually disadvantage disadvantage J blah blah this is actually a big disadvantage to the animals because they can't live their lives as they need to be when they're matted up like this unlike us humans but today we, I will be showing you guys some locks on some animals so without further ado let's jump into this dread review if you remember a live stream I did a while ago this is a video of a cat that they found that was just neglected for years it was a stray cat and this is probably the only cat. As I was saying before I realized my microphone wasn't plugged in, this is probably the only cat that I've ever seen with dreads like this. I've never even really seen humans with locks this thick in person before. A lot of these locks here on this cat have started to join up and congo up. And look at this fluffy little tail down here and its head over here. I don't understand how its body grew so much hair like this. It's insane to see this cat in this situation here. Huge ass dreads on this cat. It's kind of insane to see that this is, this is even a feline. Look at the locks coming down the sides here. Like it almost looks like some sort of locktopus. <laughs> you get it? Locktopus, you cat? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm uh, slaying myself here. Poor kitty, man. This is crazy to see. I'm happy that they finally um, helped out this cat, actually. And were able to cut it off. This doggy here, poor doggo. I mean, this does look like a pooly, But obviously, it hasn't been maintained at all. Um, a lot of its hair in the back has been kind of roughed up and balding on the top. You know, it's, it's sad to see animals ending up like this, but I'm always happy to see when, they, when they're saved and given a new home. Uh, this dog here is not a pulley, but it's got locks just like one, big, flat, ribbon-like wicks in a sense. And it honestly will take years for this long term of neglect to really happen. And you can see even down here, this little dog after the locks have been cut off, which were way longer than its body. Kind of crazy to see. Um, had not groomed or brushed Poppy the whole time he owned her. 13 years of, do of dreads on this dog that turned out to be two kilograms and 13 and a half inches in length. So it's like, obviously, please do not neglect your animals like this as we will try to neglect 13 years of our own hair. Um, this is the cat after it was shaved. This cat eyes is actually pretty fat underneath all those locks there. Um, this sort of thing can happen too with, with dogs with matted hair, uh, where it just kind of like forms an armor around the dog's legs. It would be really irritating for the skin down here as well. Um, no fresh air is able down to get there to able to be get down. Blah, there'd be no fresh air to get down there to the skin to breathe. And this kitty actually looks much happier with all those locks cut off there for sure. Um, here's another photo of a pooly, but the locks here have kind of matted as an armor rather than separated. This is why it's very important to separate pooly locks. Um, this dog almost, almost doesn't look like it can stand up in its proper position, so you know, it's a sad, it's a sad sight, and I just hope that these these guys get taken care of after the fact. Um, this dog here, big ass locks coming down from it. Looks like it's in a kennel somewhere. Has been rescued. 
Um, here's another cat with some really epic mats going on here. That's insane. Holy crap. And there's little paws down here. Like, how does it even survive with mats like that on it? It's kind of crazy. Here's a photo of this other dog with the 13 inch locks with the 13 years of growth on it. It almost seems like every year these locks grew an inch. Looking much more free and happy after the locks have been cut off. This poo this little dog here looks like a poodle getting shaved down. You can see the color of its skin kind of irritated after being shaved so much. Or actually just not having any breathing going down to the skin. This guy looks like Ziggy. He looks a lot like Ziggy boy. And here's the other dog with the actually this this dog kind of looks like a Commodore. But crazy matted going on back there. Uh, here's a before and after on what he looks like a little terrier. Lots of matted raggly locks and then it's cut down. You can see the skin again looking kind of pink afterwards. Uh, here's a Pooley that's been neglected for some time. Very important to keep your Pooley's cords separated as much as you can. Can't even really see what's going on with this animal here. Good thing this guy got banned for keeping any more dogs. Wow. Damn, that looks like a painful. Jeez, that's super sad. To neglect a dog this much, like look at his eyes. It's really sore. Looks better that it's shaved and hopefully they could fix its eye infections there. <laughs> this one actually on the minimal side of what we've been looking at so far. Here's another little terrier with some nasty matted locks. So now that I, what is this? Looks like one dread, a tail coming out from its forehead. Born with a tail on its head. Wow, I wonder if it wags. That's crazy. That is crazy. And it's like, if you ever wonder what a, what a dog would look like with the actual proper locks that aren't neglected and are actually well maintained. You can see here a common door with perfectly maintained locks here. Very thin, very separated, you know, very well maintained at this point. So just to let you guys know, this is what it actually should look like when it's not ma a matted mess. And even this takes a lot of maintenance and, and effort to, to really cure these cords like this. Uh, this one being a, a pulley, not a pulley, a poodle with some beautiful cords. This one being a pulley with some beautiful cords. Now, I have a pulley myself, but I don't keep his locks long like this. I find it's too much work. I try to trim them down to his belly just so it's easier for him and myself and it makes him a lot less hot in the summer. And most of the time, dogs like this with the cords super long are meant to be put in the shows, uh, in the competitions, but you know, Beautiful, long, perfect locks on this Pooley here as well. So it's, a, it's, it's better to see them like this than in the previous where we've seen them, you know, super neglected and just not having much fun with their life. Just keeping this video short here for you guys was just on my mind, the neglected dreads on animals. Um, let me know in the comments below what kind of animals you guys have as pets and if you even have any Commodores, Pooley, Poodles, um, or any sort of dog with dreads it's fun you know, let's share some photos of it as well uh, i'm gonna end this video here i thank you guys for watching every single day and until next time peace out one love and i'll see you guys in the next dreadlock update until then i'm gone adios the